pretty straightforward actually. We're going to get the second one now. Screw that one in. There are four in total. Two in the front, and two in the back. Well, these definitely aren't required, but I do uh, recommend doing them. doesn't say that they're not required in the manual, but I can clearly see this is just to give the unit uh, more reinforcement in a particular area that might be prone to bending. If these things bend out of shape, the Robotino will not move correctly. Uh, you'll have legs that are bent. Uh, the joints won't move around. There you have that. So back here is where we screwed them in. Now we're going to go to the front. Okay, so these are screwed in. Now what is remaining here? We have no more components left, except for a few plastic horns, which that's a good thing they left us some, and a few extra screws. Uh, so, at this point after going through the entire box looking at things here I'm starting to see that there is no sensor that will be mounted to the Robotino's head. In such case um, this is just purely purely ornamental for the most part However, you can ma mount anything to this if you'd like. So, let's see how this is going to be done. So, just going to kind of quickly look at this and see where wires are going to go in and out from to get a good feeling of how this is all going to be set up. So, let's see here.
Okay, we have cables on each ankle on the outside. Cables here, cables here. Cables, okay. So let's just unravel this and see what it's gonna be like. Now these only mount in one way, which is good. Let's do a quick test here with this one. Okay, so this is looking to be a bit tricky. So we're going to take our time with this. We're not going to go too fast here because it looks like it's not just straightforward slip it in because you have to actually get these mounted onto the teeth. You'll feel it sit in on the board inside. Let's lift one of these up here. Okay, sure enough, this mounts in the, okay. If you're lucky, some of these slip right in. Others don't. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just running the wire. I am not connecting them yet because I need to see where each one goes and put it there. Okay. So there's three here. three for each leg here. Okay, we're moving right along. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make all these wires pop out the back. So that some of these wires are actually going to be inside a joint. But that's fine. Remember, be cautious on how you mount it. You actually have to get them to sit inside the connector itself. And once you feel it fit, give it a good push, and it goes right in. It's actually nice, uh, nice design there. Um, when we worked with other kits that had a lot of servos, it was actually rather complicated. Um, simply because you had all these wires going everywhere at any given time, and it made it hard to actually run the wires.
I definitely don't see how this kit could have been built with these wires already in place. There are far too many wires. Now this is beginning to look like Dr. Frankenstein. Not sure if you can see it, but now we have a lot of cables back here. And the final one, which is going to go on the head. Now what we're probably going to wind up doing is trying to find a way to mount that. One thing I did notice, there's a battery pack. Now, I quickly look through the rest of the document to see if we missed anything. But I already know where this battery pack goes. Sure enough, it's not there. Battery pack's going to go inside the unit itself, more than likely. Sure enough, it doesn't show that in the actual document. So make note of that. So that way, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to make another review or quick summary of all these videos we've done to give you that synopsis. We suggest that if you haven't watched that yet, you watch it. So that way you know that you're going to be mounting this battery inside the unit. Now there might be a way to get in there. Remember with other, uh, the other kits that we did, the Expadino, we found that we were made a similar mistake and we were able to get it in. So, just to give you a back shot, this is basically what we wind up with. Wind up with a slew of wires. And it's basically for every single servo on the Robotino. Got the heads, every joint. So you're looking at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 servos total. So 15 wires that you're going to have to wire up to the Hexapodino. Now, we're going to break here and we'll be back when we're ready to wire this up. We've got the battery mounted inside the unit.